Welcome to the eighth Gary James Graveyard Rambling. Now, if you detect, good morning, there's my friend there. If you detect today that I'm speaking a little bit quieter, it's because it's the time of morning where the brethren and the sisterhood are gathered there within, behind me. So I need to be a little bit circumspect. Not that I was. And today I'm going to welcome you by saying something rather strange, that we've reached eight of these graveyard ramblings and never yet have I posed the question, do you believe in ghosts? Hmm? Well, do you? Now, during the week, I went down with the wife, give her an airing, down onto the East Sussex Riveria in Hastings, where we went to see a, a production called Do You Believe in Ghosts? Now, I'd been in touch with my friend um, Matt, deal or no deal Matt, singing bath Matt, and said to her, what do you want me to do? Who do you want me to contact if it comes to it? And he suggested um, Scylla, um, that we get in touch with Scylla. And uh, I said to him, well, the trouble is, you see, I know flight crew. And if I try and bring Scylla back, I think they'll have something to say for it. Anyway, anyway. So we didn't know what to expect from this production. It wasn't uh, explained exactly what it was going to be about. But I shall tell you a certain amount without giving the game away in case any of you fork out £31 for a circle seat because it's on tour. So, um, actually, it looks at telling stories of famous theatre uh, dosage, and of course there are many, because we're a very suspicious bunch, us theatre types. And um, so uh, they sit on the stage and they talk, about, and on the stage there is what's called a ghost light. Now, I don't know if you know this, but when theatres are dark, which actually means either they haven't paid their electricity bill or there's nothing on, um, we keep a light on. The tradition is keep a light on. And that is there to soothe and encourage the spirits that lurk there within to uh, carry on their acts after they've passed away. Now, uh, in practical terms, um, I saw Ken Dodd's, bless him, the best British comedian we ever had, I saw Ken Dodd's show a few times, and I have to tell you that I think probably several people may have passed away during those shows because they do go on a bit, or they did, <laughs> bless his heart. So, um, anyway, anyway, so, um, yes, well, so the ghost light was there and stories were told of theatre ghosts and theatre stories. We didn't, thankfully, Scylla didn't turn up, which is probably just as well, really, you know. Now, in terms of the audience, I was a little shocked because, as I said, this was the, or this is, or this was, the East Sussex Riveria. And the theatre in question, the White Rock, is in the middle between Hastings and a beautiful luxury south coast destination called St Leonard's. Now, the audience for this particular show mainly consisted of weemen. And these weemen, uh, and I say weemen because my wife is from uh, Belfast, uh, from Northern Ireland, and that's how they say it up there. Isn't that funny? I'm a southerner, by the way, which is why I talk like I do. And, um, yeah, so about, I'd say, 90% women in the audience, probably about 75% uh, of whom probably wouldn't have to wait very much longer before they find the definitive answer to the question, do you believe in ghosts, as they were a little on the elderly side and had to be helped in and out of their seats. Um, there were uh, a goodly proportion, I, I would estimate, of women from the uh, People's Republic of Lesbania, of which St Leonard's and Hastings are beautifully represented in the spectrum of social life in modern Britain. And um, the only thing is, some of them, not the People's Republic of Lesbanians, but some of the women in there had had an awful lot to drink. And uh, the men folk, some of the men folk that accompanied them, uh, who spent the entire performance on their mobile phones, from the look of it, uh, were 
not amused, I think it has to be said. I think it's safe to say. Look, I'm switching positions. Isn't that professional? So you don't get bored of the same old view. Um, anyway, anyway. Um, so, yeah, they got a bit bored looking at their phones. Some of the more drunk women gave the actors on stage a little bit of a hard time. Now, as you would expect from someone like myself, I can't encourage that type of behaviour, even if you are waiting for Scylla or Derek or Cora or Doris Stokes or any of the others um, to make an appearance, because it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not respectful of what we're up there, flogging, our, uh, flogging ourselves off, trying to entertain you with. So, do you believe in ghosts? Well, n production value aside, the question for me, no. No, I don't. Um, even though I've had my share of strange experiences. And, um, you know, I regaled a few of them in my book, which is uh, still available on some sites for £12.99, a paltry £12.99. I mean, quite frankly, if you haven't got a copy, where have you been? Any road, uh, uh, yes, uh, but one of the stories I didn't tell uh, was of, um, I'd been going out with somebody called Paul, um, and uh, we were staying in his flat in a big Victorian mansion place in um, a certain part of North London, which I'll come back to in a wee moment, um, and uh, he shared the flat with um, my friend Chris, and um, so there were the three of us. Nothing, uh, don't go jumping to conclusions. Nothing like that. This was perfectly decent. We, uh, we'd all turned in for the evening and the house was completely empty apart from us. We were on the ground floor. And um, as the lights went out, we could hear walking out in the hallway. Clear, crisp steps on the paving stones, on the original, it has to be said, Victorian paving stones out there in the hallway. Terrified in case we could be murdered or graped if there were a bunch of them. Uh, sorry about that gag. And um, we, I nudged Paul and I said to him, look, we're going to have to go out there. We're going to have to challenge whoever it is that's walking up and down our hallway in case they burst in and do disgusting things with us. So we grabbed anything we could find. I th seem to remember Chris grabbing a saucepan, which is um, useful in a fight. Um, I think I grabbed a rolling pin, and, and I'm not sure what Paul grabbed, but um, whatever it was, it would have put the woolies up, and I can tell you. And we went to the door, got ourselves, girded ourselves up, ready to burst forth. We flung the door open, marched out into the hallway, ready to attack whoever it was that was coming for us. And yes, you have guessed it. Bugger all. Nanty. Not a sausage. And to this day, this story, it, well, frankly, it puts the collie wobbles at me. And that's not easy at my age. So do you believe in ghosts? This is the question. From me, in the graveyard, this is my eighth graveyard, I think, and can you believe we've got eight times in the graveyard before I've actually approached anything um, even remotely ghostly? Uh, and my friends are all sitting here, look. Well, n not so much sitting as lying, um, but they're all there um, supporting these, these broadcasts. And thank you for watching and thank you for listening and being poured out of your, your breasticles. <laughs> Any roader. Bye-bye.